In this video, I'm having a look at Small Rig's Wave W1C. It's a microphone, a wireless microphone, specifically made for Android devices. And I have successfully been able to get it working on my iPhone as well with a little adapter. G'day, my name is Gary, and on this channel, I create video content to help you create successful videos. If you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing. Throughout this video, you'll be listening to the audio from this particular system. I'm just going to have that clipped onto my shirt here. And uh, of course, being so small, you can actually clip it into all sorts of places. I think before, I was just seeing if I can place it up in here. So you can even place it up underneath your collar, it's so small. So let's have a closer look at what you get in the little case. It comes in this little charging case. It's quite unique. And honestly, the whole package is so small. There's a little indicator light on the front here which shows you either 25, 50, 75 or 100 percent charged in the little battery pack that charges the a transmitter. On the back you have a little USB-C port and the hinge on this lid seems to be quite sturdy so I don't think you'll have to worry about it breaking off, it's quite sturdy. In the inside the case um, you've got it nicely fitted, the little windsock just sits in the top there and we'll talk about that a little bit later on but the transmitter you can see it's already charging in the case with a little red indicator light now it's looking for the receiver at the moment so I'll just turn it off the little power button is on the side there okay so the transmitter switched off now you have a little gain control on the side which is a, a positive and negative and that gain control is for the microphone that's mounted on the top of the unit there. This little 3.5mm jack is for headphones. It's not a lavalier, external lavalier microphone. On the back of the transmitter you've got a nice little clip. And look, I've used it for a little while now and it seems to be fine. It's Look, the whole unit is delicate anyway. So you're not going to be wanting to clip this onto the side of your ute or something like that. <laughs> It's made, it's made for your shirt or your collar or something simple, so righto. Let's have a look at the receiver. Uh, the receiver does not have a battery built into it. It actually uses the power from your device. On the side you've got the little pairing device there and you also have the ability to bend this at a 90 degree angle which is quite handy because Instead of this sticking out the bottom of your phone, you can wrap it around to maybe balance it a little bit better on a gimbal. I like it. Again, it's quite small. You know, it's the size of my little finger. <laughs> so it's, it's very unique in that sense. It's one of the smallest ones I've seen. So it'll be interesting to see how it performs. Now let's have a look at the windsock to see how it fits on the unit. The trouble with a lot of these wind socks, they don't fit real well over these like pencil type microphones. They often slip off, but what Small Rig have done is they've designed this so that it has a little stalk that goes into the 3.5mm jack. So that means that if you've got the wind sock on, you can't use the earbuds. So you just line that up nicely and it should clip on the top fine. There you go, that's not going to blow off in a breeze at all, okay? Almost looks like a little cartoon character, I love it. Let's um, have a listen to see what it sounds like outside, uh, in the open, at distance. I'm only about five metres away from the actual camera, so I'll move it a little bit further and we'll try a distance test. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Now I'm twenty meters away. I'm facing away, so the actual transmitter has to transmit through my body. I'm going to turn around now, and I'm at twenty meters. So that's at thirty meters. I'm thirty meters away now, uh, facing away from the camera, so the transmitter has to transmit through my body. I'm turning around now. Um, I can feel that breeze a little bit stronger on my face here. I have the microphone just clipped in onto my shirt here. I might just put that little windsock on the top, see how that sounds. 
a little go. I'll just put that little windstock on and fluffing it up a little bit, make it look pretty. So that should settle any wind noise down. And I'm going to go a little bit further. 31, 32, 33, 4, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So I'm 40 metres away now, and uh, it'd be interesting to uh, hear what that sounds like. Um, there's still a nice little breeze blowing, so you get an idea of whether it's going to be able to um, reject that wind. Uh, I'm, I'm sort of trying to put a tree limb between myself and the camera as well, uh, just to give you an idea of what it's like behind obstacles. 48, 49, so there's 50 metres. Now, <laughs> my thoughts are that if this little tiny stick microphone that's the size of your little finger can actually go 50 metres, that's pretty impressive. Anyway, heading back to the camera now. Oh, I don't know whether that's even recorded or not. So. so I'm getting back to around five metres away from the camera now. And uh, hopefully that's given you a better idea of how the little microphone performs over 50 metres and uh, also with a slight breeze blowing over the little microphone as well. I'm going to actually record a little bit of sound in the car as I'm driving so you can listen to the difference between the microphone on the mobile phone and then with the small rig wireless microphone attached. One of the biggest problems that we have when we're recording audio in the car is the proximity to the microphone. Uh, I've got the mobile phone set up on a mount on the other side of the car and there's a fair distance between myself and the microphone and of course there's a lot of cabin noise that creates problems inside the car as well so what I'm going to do is just record a little bit using the microphone that is already built into the mobile phone and then I'll switch over to the small rig wireless microphone and you can hear the difference. It mightn't be such a bad idea if I just, just clip it onto my shirt here. So, so let's have a listen to see what that sounds like as we're driving along. I'll get the cabin noise up in the vehicle. You can have a listen for yourself. So uh, most videos that you're going to be doing inside a car uh, you want to try and get the microphone as close as possible to your mouth because there's going to be a lot of cabin noise in here as well. So it be interesting to hear the difference between the two. Uh, I'm just going to give it a try. Uh, I'm turning away from the camera, but uh, the actual microphone is not too far away from my mouth here. It's just, just on my shirt, so that should give you an idea of how close it is. I just needed to mention to you that there is a big difference between the, this particular microphone and others because normally both the transmitter and the receiver have a battery built in but this particular unit by small rig it has got a battery built into the transmitter and there's no battery in the receiver now how does it work well when you plug in the, the receiver into the mobile phone, it actually uses the power from the, the actual mobile. Straight up, there were warning bells, and I thought to myself, how the dickens would it not drain the battery in the mobile phone? Well, you know, interestingly enough, I did a test over one and a half hours and found that there was only a 7% difference in power loss on the mobile phone from using it video recording for an hour and a half uh, and then recording for an hour and a half with the receiver into it. So, you know, I was pretty impressed by the fact that the receiver really didn't drain much power from the mobile phone and it seems like Small Rig have really got this worked out. Now, I don't think I have to convince you about the difference between the clearness of the dialogue when you're using the wireless microphone. When it's close to your mouth, it's much, much clearer. And I think I, in the car, I only had it clipped on to my shirt here or in my, the top pocket. A couple of things that you must be aware of with this microphone is that it's not stereo. It's a, it's a mono microphone. Uh, you don't have the ability to be able to plug in a lavalier microphone into it, but if you only want a simple plug and play system, it's ideal. If you want to find out more information like the price in your local area, make sure you click on the link in the description. I've put that in there. And if you've if you've liked this video and you'd like to see more, make sure you consider subscribing. Until next time, I'll catch you later.